Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to purchase the Happy Coin token using PancakeSwap and Trust Wallet. It's actually quite easy to do. I'm just going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB from Binance, transfer it over to your Trust Wallet, and then purchasing the Happy Coin on PancakeSwap. I'd just like to let you guys know as well, I do have lots of cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on a daily basis. So if you guys are interested in those kinds of videos, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel. As like I said, I'll have daily content. Anyhow, let's get right into this video and as I'll show you guys step by step how to purchase the Happy Coin. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So I'm going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on Create a New Wallet. And that's just going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB over into your smart chain wallet, all you guys have to do is add the Happy Coin to your trust wallet. And to do that, I'll have a link in the description over to Happy Coin's website where you guys will copy the contract address. And then you'll be able to post it into your trust wallet here. So you guys will be able to add it to your trust wallet and start the purchasing process. So if you guys just head over to that link I have in the description, it'll bring you over to Happy Coin's website right here. All you guys have to do is just copy this contract address right here. 
So once you guys click on copy, you can go ahead and back into your trust wallet and you want to navigate over to the top right of your screen where you see the two lines and the two circles. So let's go ahead and click on that and you want to paste that address in this search bar right here. Once you guys do that, you will see the happy coin pop up right here. All you guys have to do here is click on enable and then click on done. Once you guys do that, you have to navigate over to the browser icon on your trust wallet. For whatever reason, if you guys don't have the browser icon on your trust wallet yet, you guys will have to go to the second link I have in the description. It's basically just over to the trust wallet website where we'll show you guys how to enable your dApp browser. So just make sure you guys do this. It's very, very easy to do. All you have to do is click on this link in step one, and then it'll open up a pop-up here asking you to open it in trust wallets, and then it'll open up your trust wallet, and you will have the browser icon at the bottom of your screen. Anyways, once you guys have that done there, you have to go back over to your trust wallet and you want to head over to the browser. Once you're on the browser here, you want to go ahead and open up PancakeSwap. And once you're on PancakeSwap, if this is your first time using PancakeSwap, you do have to connect your wallet. And to do that, if you just go to the top of your screen where you see the connect button, go ahead and click on that and then click on trust wallet. And then you will see your wallet ID up in the top here. Uh, now, what you guys have to do is you have to add the currency to the exchange. So to do that, you can go ahead and click on select a currency and you want to paste that same address we got from the Happy Coin website in here as well. And then you will see the Happy Coin pop up. You just guys just have to click on add and then click on the coin. Now, once you guys have this in here, you should have BNB and then Happy uh, as well at the bottom here. For whatever reason, if you guys don't see your balance in your BNB at the top here, just make sure that you guys have your BNB in your smart chain wallet on Trust Wallet. If you guys accidentally put it to your BNB wallet, all you guys have to do is click on the BNB portion of your wallet, click on the dots, and then just click on Swap to Smart Chain. Then once you guys come back into PancakeSwap, you will then see your BNB balance in here. Anyways, what you guys have to do next is you guys have to make sure your slippage tolerance is on 12%. To change your slippage tolerance, all you have to do is click on those three lines right beside exchange, and then just change your slippage tolerance to 12%, then you guys shouldn't have any issues purchasing the Happy Coin. Anyways, once you guys do that, you have to decide how much BNB that you want to transfer over to Happy Coin. So let's just say if I want to do 0.2, I can type in 0.2. And then it will show me the amount of happy coin I will get in exchange for my 0.2 BNB. Now, if you guys are happy with that exchange rate, all you have to do is click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It just tell you here to confirm or swap your tokens. Once you guys do that, it'll bring you to another screen where it'll show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you guys how much uh, you guys will pay in fees and how much your withdrawal rate and things like that are. So if you guys are okay with those exchange rates and things like that, you can go ahead and click on confirm for the swap there. And then if you exit out of PancakeSwap after you do that, you will then see your happy coin in your main portion of your wallet here. So it's very, very easy to do. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to purchase the happy coin using PancakeSwap and Trust Wallet. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.